It's still a labor-intensive business. You're working with a lot of people together, working with different products, different cooking times, different cooking techniques, and everything needs to be ready exactly at the same point in time. Well, food is a bit of religious now. <laughs> Because everything is moving so fast and there's some noise and the warps are working and fire is everywhere, the banging of the walks. There's, there's a lot of noise in the kitchen when, when it's up and running. Cooking, that's there. You see the direct result of your work. I have family working in restaurants. My father did, my brother did, uh, my brother-in-law, my sister did. So we, there was a link. Everything is in for today? There was not really a plan behind it. It was just doing a restaurant in Portugal. We have to check the schedule um, August, because I think the first two weeks I had, I'm short one person in Lava holidays. So if we have to see how to fill in that gap. Yeah. From the beginning, we as, as owners and managers, we have always been there. You're working with a lot of people, so, so it's, it has to do with the family feeling, because we spend a lot of hours together. We know all the names, we know all the families, we know this has two kids, you know, it's talking and, and, and working together with them, and it's important, it makes a difference. Oh, you want to sell to Luba, the Boba? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We are doing Asian restaurants now for 20 years, I think. So it's not happens from in a week. It happens over a large extended time where we get to where we are now. And I was covering for a friend who was a chef. She needed to go back to Thailand for a while and I was covering her for six weeks. I learned a lot because it was a new cuisine for me, new flavor, different way of cooking. And then we will receive very well, and then you, you start thinking, maybe we should do another one. And then ending up with three and four, and I'm still thinking of expanding. We never really did delivery. In the beginning, we were really a bit reluctant because it's a new thing for us. Keeping in mind that things were now not directly going to the customer. I think we brought it to the point that we can still guarantee it the same quality, the same experience. But it took time. We start doing kitchen demand of customers. There were a lot of them that living outside the range of delivery. So Kitch helped us a lot with that to, to, to be able to supply them as well. For me, it was a new world and a new experience. So I follow up a little bit. I try to read the reviews and the response of the customers. What are the red flags? What is highlighted? And what needs to be solved? It's a very nice city. It's a nice place to be. I like being here. It has clearly some... Is that your car? Oh, that's mine. I thought I turned it off. I prefer to, to do that part, because that's where the most fun and the most action is, being in the kitchens. And we've been very busy, which is good actually, it, it shows the appreciation of the customer. That even when, when you're not able to serve them, they still think of you.